Team, I'm going to show you how we uh, barbecue up some chicken legs. We're going to do it in the Ninja Woodfire Grill. And you know it's going to be money. Stick around. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. Welcome to my backyard. So glad you're here. Listen, we got a nice, smooth, easy one for you today. We're going to do some barbecue chicken legs and we're going to do it in our Ninja Wood Fire Grill. All right. Going to give it a little bit of that hint of smoke, give it a little barbecue flavor, get a little barbecue sauce at the end. What do you say? All right, guys. First off, I want to say thank you to the sponsor of this video, Thermapro but more on them later. Guys, like I said, this is gonna be an easy one. All we've already done is seasoned up our chicken legs. So we got some Uncle Steve's shake, the sweet and spice here, which is my favorite shake. I have a link down below for it if you wanna check it out. I, I season these things up liberally, got the outside, pulled the skin back, got the inside of them a little bit, put that skin back. We're gonna smoke these at a high temperature. We're gonna do it at 350. Now, what's that gonna do? It's gonna help render out the fat in that skin. It's a nice crispy skin, and then the chicken will be cooked all the way through too, okay? We're gonna keep an eye on the temperatures on the chicken legs. We're gonna take them up to about 175, 180, even to 190 if we can. Guys, dark meat is very forgiving, and I prefer to have my you know, chicken legs, my chicken wings cooked a little bit over than what you're used to. So chicken breast, you go to 160, 165. With these chicken legs, we want them done a lot more, okay? So we want higher temperatures on them. We're gonna check those temperatures with the new Thermapro Lightning Instant Read Thermometer. All right, so that leads us into today's sponsor, which is Thermapro. Let me tell you about this new Lightning Instant Read Thermometer, okay? I am constantly preaching the need for an Instant Read Thermometer because I don't cook to time. People ask me all the time, how long did that cook take? Listen, we're cooking to internal temperatures. Your cooker might be different than mine, all right? We use this beautiful instant read thermometer from Thermapro. So on this one, we're gonna use our Thermapro Lightning Instant Read Thermometer. It has their fastest instant read technology with one second display. It has an auto on function. The Thermapro Lightning has an LED display for when it's uh, bright and sunny outside, you'll still be able to see your temperatures. It is waterproof and the lightning's accurate up to a half a degree. It has a sleek design. It has a rubber coating on the outside for uh, protection in case you drop it. If you're like me, I drop my thermometers all the time, but this is a brand new tool in my Thermapro arsenal. If you guys wanna get one of these brand new Thermapro lightning instant read thermometers, There'll be a link down below in the video description with a little coupon code on there to save you a little bit of cash. All right, it is an affiliate link, but it will help out the channel and it doesn't cost you anything more. In fact, with that coupon code, you're gonna be saving a little bit of money. So nothing left to do but get to it. We have our uh, chicken legs already seasoned up. Let's get that wood fire smoke rolling. All right, come on back. Okay, we got our pellets in. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken legs on there. Now we're getting these on there now. We wanna give them all the smoke, okay? We're gonna let it go through the ignition period with the smoke burning in there. Make sure you got a little room in between, okay? Put that last one on. We're doing skin side up as best as possible. There we go. Skin side up, yep, looking good. Okay, shut it down. Turn to the smoker setting, turning that temperature all the way up to 350. Okay, not so worried about the time because again, we're, we're keeping track of the temperatures. So I just leave it on the default. I'm gonna go hit start. It's gonna go through the ignition process, that smoke rolling. I'm good to go. We added those chicken legs in there to go through the ignition process uh, because I want those legs to get all the smoke, okay? I want a nice, smoky, barbecue -y, um chicken leg, all right? So uh, usually when I'm smoking something, I don't always leave it through the ignition. You know, I let that white smoke burn off, but with this particular cook, I'm, I'm gonna give it all the smoke, okay? You don't have to if you don't want to, but this is just something I'm, I'm doing because I want a nice, smoky chicken leg, okay? Nothing more to do than just kind of chill out, let it go, let it get that smoke. We'll start checking temps about 15, 20 minutes into it. Cause again, we're giving a lot of heat. We're using it at 350. So we're getting a lot of heat on there, right? And uh, 
You don't want to you don't want to burn anything. So one of the good things about the wood fire grill or any of the ninja grills is you can lift them up as you're cooking and see where you're at. So we're going to make sure that we're not, you know, getting too much heat on these bad boys, but we're going to take them and make them just perfect. OK. All right, guys, stick around. All right, 15 minutes in looking good. Look at that good color. Skin's pulling back, getting crispy. Let's take a temp. All right, we got our uh, lightning instant read thermometer here. Looking good. We want to go probably another five minutes or so. Because like I said, we want to take these to about 180. Yeah, that one still needs some time. 180, 190. Okay. So we're going to shut it down and give it a little more heat. And we'll be done. Then we're about 25 minutes into the cook right here. We're going to give them some, uh, give a little temp check with our new lightning. Go 184, 185, some 183. All right, these are about where I want them, but we're gonna give them a little bit more time because we're gonna sauce them up. Now I'm using a little bit of uh, Rufus Teague sweet heat here. Just gonna pour a little bit over the top. Just sauce it up a little bit. I'm not a saucy kind of guy, so I don't use a lot of sauce. But if you like a lot of sauce, then you do you. Just stuff a little extra sauce on there. But for me, I'm cool with just a little bit. We're gonna set this sauce up. We'll give it another five minutes of heat. Add a little flavor. I like the sauce set, nice and sticky. It's gonna be amazing. Let's give it another couple minutes, and we'll pull it off. Another five minutes in. Our legs are set with that barbecue sauce. Get them off, get All a taste. Team, we're just beating that sunlight into my patio here, so let's go give them a try. They're looking good, smelling good. They're gonna be hot like you wouldn't believe. But I got one right here. Grab me a napkin so I can hold on to it because I know it's hot. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Guys, that's too good. That barbecue sauce is nice and uh, spicy. We got Uncle Steve's sweet and spicier in there too dang good all right guys right, so that's it not much more to this one if you want to get yourself one of these new uh lightning thermo pro instant read thermometers there'll be a link down below and there'll be a code to save you a little bit of cash on that one too all right so keep an eye out for that right underneath that link if you want to get yourself one of these ninja wood fire grills there'll be a link down below for that merch knives cutting boards all that stuff all links down below hit show more underneath the video okay if you want to become a show producer like all these awesome barbecue chicken loving people people that don't like it too saucy but just saucy enough like your boy hit that join button right next to the subscribe button which you should have already hit by now but other than that guys we are done listen i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week thanks for stopping by Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.